Tonight, optimism and hope. A special needs family in Georgia is now vaccinated after the state expanded eligibility for people with intellectual disabilities and their caregivers. Our Emma Hamilton joins us now live with their story. Emma. Shannon, this family walked up these steps and through that door behind me here at the Richmond Hill vaccination site to receive their COVID-19 vaccines today and after an entire year of isolating at home. Away. Like it was Christmas coming early. Ready, let's do it. Here we go. Count to three. Count to three. This Richmond Hill family thought it would be several more months before they could receive the COVID-19 vaccine. But when Georgia included people who have intellectual disabilities and their caregivers in this new group, it was a sigh of relief for more reasons than one. James only has half of a lung and Zach being a uh, lower immune response. It's been extremely isolating. We, we can't do the things that a lot of other people with uh, better immune systems have been able to do. Obviously, it's big for everybody in society, but for this particular group, um, it's it, it means so much more. CEO and president of Employability, a nonprofit that works with special needs people in Savannah, Brennan Ferrara says including those with disabilities in this next group was needed. They are isolated in a way that a lot of people and have health problems that a lot of uh, neurotypical typical people don't have. Ferreira says he too didn't expect for special needs people to be eligible for the vaccine this early in the year. We're super excited to, to get folks back on campus way earlier than we'd expected. And, and I'm sure families are, are feeling the same thing to get back to some sense of normalcy. Now, Erica tells me that one of the best parts about her family getting vaccinated is the fact that they will be able to watch Zach walk across the stage and graduate high school this spring in person. Just really, truly special, Shannon. I was going to say wonderful news. Thanks so much, Emma.